very simple technique called the pate. You can his hand. You want to close in a little small circle, whatever, you know, just uh, feel free. Heavy K can be done from punches, anything you want to do, but we usually start this way because you have a relationship and you can see what's going on. The heavy K is uh, a wrist takedown where you lock all of the carpals, these eight little bones in here, and then commutably lock all the rest of the bones to the center of gravity, and that takes very little bit to drop them down. The key is, like in anything else, to do the proper setup and take the proper time to do the setup. It's like painting a house. You just paint over the old paint, it's going to feel good. You're going to take the time to sand it down and the prime and coat everything. Take the time to actually set everything up perfectly and lock it. And that way, the actual take down a minimal thing. Now, what we're doing, let me get down this way so you can see better over there, is by taking, working only from down below the wrist, technically. He can limit to a degree anything I do from here up. But down here I can write my signature, do anything I want to do, he can't do anything about it. So everything is done from there down. Okay. I'm going to take that around where he can't stop it and bring my hand in and rest the edge of the hand right on the carpals, that is the late little bones, in front of the wrist bone that you see here, in front of that. And then keep the hand upright, but not stiff just in position, and relax the whole arm. Yeah, it's just hanging there now. The configuration of this arm will now make it lock against your hand. But the key to make it do that is you have to have a slight bend in this elbow. If the elbow's not bent, it won't happen. You have to have that little S curve in there. But just for security reasons, you take the other hand and lightly touch the tips of the fingers and our wrist, just lightly. We're not going to grab it. That's to keep sort of the hands from sliding off in case you have it sticky or slippery where he has a, uh, a very small wrist or something. So then, we'll, remember this is just resting there. Now we just, from again, from wrist down, we're just going to point the fingers back underneath the elbow this way. I'm not going to push on it, I'm going to drive there. Just point. Then by swaying the body, you have locked the carpal. Now relax the arm and drop the body a couple of inches to take some down. Isn't that point? No. When I'm balanced on one foot, I can take this foot, put it in the air, turn it out, and it's like an Indian dancer. And, then, and when he hits the ground, you should be in such a position that if he tries to pull you over, you're pretty stable. If I'm leaning over now, you can break my balance. Hold it. Now, it's not by tightening your legs, but by putting yourself in the proper position and settling in, sort of like in this manner with your body. So when he pulls, he's actually pulling your center of gravity forward into your forward foot. And he's actually pulling himself up rather than you down. Yeah? Oh. Now from here, of course, we want to break it or whatever, we step out and just squat a little bit to bend his elbow. Just turn your hips. Don't turn your hands. If you turn your hands, you're going to break it loose. Okay. One of the principles we use is called secondary pressure. You might have a different name for the same thing. Secondary pressure means you're moving from someplace other than where you are attached. If you have a very delicate grip here, for instance, if I move from here to try to throw him, I might break him away. So if you leave that there, and move from somewhere else, he may not be able to stop that. What I just did was just let him have this. And I'm going to let him have that. Brought this over here. It looks funny, but you'll be doing it yourself later. Some of the other people did it last night, and it does work them. <laughs> Now don't crank it. This is not a thing where you have to use any strength at all. Because all of that's really going to backfire you. You should feel like you are emptying and relaxing. All the power should flow out. flow out into your opponent. If you feel strong, 
that's really weakness because all that strength should not be used to tighten your muscles and to feel, make you feel strong. That strength, if you release it, will flow out into your opponent. That's all you need. But he's not doing that for me. So you don't need all this and you don't need the tightness. The tightness is holding back strength for the relaxation. Getting strength out. That's where you want to go. So heavy tay is done by very relaxed method. If you try to come up this way, you're going to run into that strength. See? So you just relax. You go around it. Now, I'm working from the hand down here. You use the edge, bring it in here, turn way in, way in, way in. And then it hangs up by itself. Now you just touch it so you don't have to fall off. Spread hand, raise the elbow just a little bit. Don't not raise the shoulder, just the elbow. Now at the same time, I'm going to move my foot five degrees. I'm going to point my fingertips. Now I'm not going to move his hand this way. I'm going to move the rest of this there. I'm just going to point this way. Now that I've got my foot over there, and I'm going to transfer my weight there. Now it's important that when you transfer your weight, you don't arms collapse on you. You must now become like a statue. You just transfer your weight until your balance completely on that foot. You're on one foot, now you can move the other foot. When you're in the air, enough this is in the air now, I don't want to put this foot on the floor. And I'm going to collapse my other leg about two inches. And that's what does it. <coughs> At a hundred and some pounds, dropping instantaneously on one small part of his body. Okay. It's like being hit with a needle rather than a hammer. Everything goes at one point, and it can't be a slow push. It's got to be a drop, and it's a very small, Hard drop. It can't be a lower. It's got to, can't express that enough. It's got to be a drop. It's like somebody came up behind you and kicked your knees out and you caught yourself down right this far. That's all you need. Just a drop. Let's try it. Pick yourself apart.